So this here is one of the most beautiful second generation chargers that I've been around in recent years. Chaz can go ahead and fire it up and honk the horn, and then it works. But turn the key, the thing fires right up, runs super smooth. It's the numbers matching, 360 under the hood. I'll let you pull that hood pin out. It runs really well. Sounds nice too. But my favorite thing on this whole car is that that color. Hopefully it comes across as well um, in this video as it does in person. But that brown metallic is just stunning. There's so much metallic in that that color. It is a gorgeous. And uh, to have the, uh, the tan vinyl top with the tan vinyl slash leather interior. I mean, it's just a great color combination. It's one you don't see every day. And the quality of this car is just second to none. I like what they did with the shifter too. They went ahead and put that like pistol grip shifter for that got automatic. The original one in the glove. And the, yes, uh, we do. Yeah, okay. And the console. Just super clean. Have maybe some original interior too. It's hard to say. I'm going to give you the miles, D, because I know that uh, we were told that the miles were original on it. Okay. Can't guarantee that. We don't have the documentation, but look at the car. 57,066 miles. And like I say, the car tells the story. And the car looks, drives, um, and lines up like a 57,000 mile car. What a car. As we come underneath this hood, as I said before, numbers matching, 360. The inner fenders are in beautiful shape. They did a great job. You can tell that the motor was pulled during the cosmetic restoration. Engine bay paint is just as nice as the rest of it. And so many times on these Mopars, it's really hard to make the engine bay look nice. You know, with it all being body color like this, and they did a great job. Factory stickers were all reinstalled. Um, even down in here, you know, they did all this body color as well, like it should be. It's got the uh, Mopar cover here on the top of the battery. It's got the factory fender tag. Power steering, power brakes. Look at this, D. Still got like the number tag and everything like that here see it the car is special and i know when i first seen like pictures of it and i'm like oh that's a good looking car but when i first saw this thing in person out in the sun i go holy shit, that's a good looking car just because with all that metallic just a really classy looking charger but not only does this thing look awesome being a rally with the magnum hood i mean that's just cool as well you know, back in 74, to have a 360 car, you know, that's still a lot of horsepower back in 74 with the 360. I know it's way detuned, but a lot of these were, you know, 318 cars. The grill's fantastic, the bumper's original. Still beautiful chrome, Jason went ahead and with the steel wool and polished it beautifully. But you can just tell it's still original, original bumper guards, until right along the very edge. It's got just a little surface rust hue there, but it was hard for him to uh, get into every crevice there. Gaps are awesome, front to back. The hood's lined up beautiful as well. Top of the dash is your VIN number. And look at the top of the dash pad is perfect. The paint on the top of the dash. I mean, all of this is showing 57,000 miles and it just goes to prove it. Even how about, yeah, how about these like plastic inserted pieces? So many times you see on these cars, they're really faded. They're kind of banged up. They look kind of crappy. Dude, no, that's no, that's a wrong. great call though. And even the paint job around the vinyl top here, that's in gorgeous shape as well. Whoever gets the, Gets to be the lucky one to sit in the driver's seat of this car and own it is uh, you know, gonna be lucky. Damn lucky.
Another thing, not only is the paint quality awesome, but the body is very straight. Um, this dark gold metallic, I'm gonna call it, I know you call it kind of a brown, and it is a little bit, but it's it shows everything. You know, it's kind of like a, a black or something. So you look up and down the sides, you're gonna see all the imperfections. And this one has a super straight body. Uh, 225 70 14s, a nice little set of 14 inch Krager SS's. Back of the hood lines up nice here as well. Dalton mentioned on the other side is this, all this argent is beautiful here on the passenger side as well. We got dual sport mirrors, painted body color like it should be. Guys, if you've been looking for one of these generation char generation chargers, this is the one, man. This is freaking nice, isn't it? It is. Another thing I'm going to point out as we show you guys the trunk, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. 25 pictures, probably the undercarriage. Rust-free original undercarriage. I mean, we power wash it and it's super clean. Again, inside the trunk's really nice, jammed out, repainted that. All that factory seam seal, just a really good solid car. Even the metallic and like How about the that? trunk paint. Original style uh, spare. There's your jack, tire iron. It's like original quarter still too. It still has the quarter oh, I'm, mark. I'm sure it is. I mean, this is, this is a really nice survivor car with a beautiful repaint. Long owner history on this one as well. Here's your original jack instructions. Trunklet seams are perfect, no body filler, no putty. Yeah. I really like the tailpipe. It's got the nice little cutouts there um, for the tailpipe tips. As we look up and down the driver's side, that's nice and straight as well. Some trunk lid. Gaps are great. Um, just a little bit of wear right here in this very corner. But other than that, as far as the vinyl top, no bubbles or blisters anywhere back here that I can see. Nice and clean. Back window is nice and clean as well. Top of the, the top of the back seat is perfect. Back shelf is excellent, and the back shelf really kind of looks like it could be original as well. Door tucks in here really nicely. Bottom of the fender is excellent. There's your pinch well, that's all painted nice too. So many times people do a, a nice paint job, but they really don't get all the way down here on the bottom like they should. Here's your corner of the doors. The further I go around this car, the more I fall in love with it. I knew it as soon as I saw it, this thing was special. This thing has some really, really cool paint. And 1974 was the last year of this style of Dodge Charger with the fuselage styling, and I just really think it looked great. I was telling Dalton a little bit earlier to have the Magnum hood, mm -hmm. the, you know, the rally car with the numbers matching 360 still in 1974. Oh, man. When uh, the government was trying to detune and uh, right. slow everyone in the U.S. down. Yeah. Damn them. Yeah. Really special car. Really unique interior, too. Interior choices are awesome. We mentioned this on, you know, burning rubber. I wish you could have the smell of the car. Like what we're smelling is you, you know, just smells original. You have yeah. that original yeah. style smell, you know? You, you sit in there, the original AM radio works too. No way. Yeah, I oh, feel yeah. like I'm back in 1974. You're driving, you can listen to Iowa Public Radio. <laughs> this is probably the one I'm gonna give you to go to the car cruise tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I knew as soon as like I saw, saw this car that this was the one I wanted to drive. It's just such a nice car, and it's one you can jump in and know you're gonna make it home, you know? Dome light works, headliners, mint. I like what they did with the pistol grip shifter, but as Dalton mentioned before, they might have took it out now, but it had the original one as well in the, um, in the center console there. Door here. Big old heavy doors. Yeah, whoever painted this did a remarkable job and they did such a great job in the trunk, engine bay. 
door jams. Much like the Emberglow Fastback we took a video of yesterday, this color is so unique in the fact that you're not gonna run into another guy that's got one in the same metallic color. You know, it's not a, a red or blue or black. Yeah, especially it's just if you're a car show guy. You I mean, know, just super classy. This is a car you take to a car show and people flock around you. Yeah, and I wish you guys could see this in person. This paint really is just gorgeous. That's exactly what Dalton said. And uh, um, it's a car you gotta see and to really appreciate. Well, I'll tell you what, Dee, let's take her uh, for a spin, shall we? Let's do it. And fire it up. Just like that, I mean, it starts that easy. <laughs> really nice. Um, gas gauge works, oil pressure gauge works good. Charges, our temp gauge. We got it sitting here running a while, it's right at half. Got the two speed wipers. And they're fast. They're fast. <laughs> about as fast as the car. Car's fast, wipers are fast. Heater fan works on all three speeds. And bird flu has returned. <laughs> bird flu has returned. Wow. Good after Oops. a lull of self-reliance. Officials so say the highly pathogenic disease was detected in a car. Good thing my chicken's all died. <laughs> Good thing my dog got out. Dang it. All right. Yeah. What else we got? You can tell it's been 70s. I've got three ashtrays back here. Really compliments the car. <laughs> yeah, you could do a lot of smoking back there, Shay. You would absolutely smoke could. There. Isn't that crazy? I don't even know if they have ashtrays in new cars. Do they? I don't they, think no, so. They don't. They don't. Not doing that ashtrays at bars anymore. <laughs> that light works. And the dash. We talked about the dash pad a little bit, Dalton, on the very top, being perfect from the outside in. But look at the freaking dash condition on the. Just on the I outside. like the interior color too. Oh yeah. That how about, light works. How about a map light working? <laughs> Another one. There's your lighter. Bet that works too. I like the pistol grip shifter. Me too. I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, she's hot. <laughs> Everything works on this what car. A great car, man. Super nice car. Uh, turn signals both work on the hit on the. Uh, I love the bold hood, the Magnum hood. Um, just really keeps this a muscle car, especially with the low, sleek um, look of this one with the 14 inch wheels. It just yep. really has a good stance. Definitely a muscle car with all the 70s quirks. Especially those lights on the front bumpers just because of how long this thing is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. This thing is so smooth. Um, those power disc brakes stop perfect. The steering wheel is perfectly straight. No issues whatsoever there. Must be a good color. We've had about four people come by and everyone's just gawking at it. Yeah, it is. She even schools the tires a little bit. Yeah. What a good shift, too. Look at this. Cars is one of those special cars that. Oh, um, man. 1974, beautiful steering, beautiful shift. I, I was impressed. I did not think that 1974 360 would get up and go like that, but it sure still does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. They weren't able to detune everything. No. Nice shift. Not too many cars you can do this with. I think that pistol grip shifter adds about five horse at least. Well, at least three. Some people have to have the Ram Air for the extra 10 horse. We have the five horse power shifter. Yep. Just a nice car. There's, it's a car you don't have to make any excuses for. Down shifts beautifully as well. I mean, this is just how it goes down the road, you guys. I was going through a curve earlier, so I had to get my hand on the wheel a little bit. But going through the gears as fast as I could, first, second, third, no hands on the wheel. That yeah. counts. This thing drives itself. Pretty much. It's like the next generation. It's like a 2028, they're going to be driving themselves. Yep. Just like this one. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link down in the comment section of this video. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always putting out uh, new cars that we have for sale. Um, also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I'll also link to those in the comments of this video. And again, thank you for watching.